Hello everyone and welcome back. This is episode 33 of the Football Manager 2014 Newport County YouTube series brought to you by the County Choir. And we are well into our, well not well into our season, but uh, we're getting into it. We've um, we've already won in the first round of the Cap uh, Capital One Cup and we've won our opening two league games as you can see. We are up against old foes Mansfield who've got promoted with us as runaway champions. But something tells me that we're going to do a bit better than them this season. We've made another signing. I felt up front could have, could do with a bit more, a bit more reinforcement. But then also for the wing as well, Fabian Brandy. Some of you may have heard of him. He didn't want a massive contract, and he's a very very good addition to our team. Being described as a leading League One player, so it's definitely something to do with Dave Cowan. His chances are going to be limited now, Dave Cowan. Because of obviously Brandy's inclusion into the squad, but at the end of the day, we need, you know, we really, really do need to be enforcement. Sam Foley's going to play a game up front. Yeah, yeah, he's done my best in for that, I think. Um, he's capable of scoring goals, he played up front a lot for us in, um, in the conference. So he's doing what I'm going to have to Barry and Farrer. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give Jack Barry a go. Something tells me there's a lot to come from this youngster. Give the Evans a rest, yeah. We've got to be able to rotate a little bit, you know. You know I think we've got a cracking squad here. Yeah. I think we've got, we really have got a cracking squad. So, uh, let's see Sam Foley and Christian in front of Christian. Isn't hitting the heights I've been expecting, but he's more than capable of hitting them. Hopefully in this game, this will be one of the ones that he does it in. Okay, 100% record up at the moment. The aim is to maintain it for as long as possible. So it's a tall order to just win games as a newly promoted team after every game. But Always doing this stupid crap where it's got the possession bar covering the uh, the commentary, the written commentary below. It does it every now and again. See Crowley beating Leighton Orient at the moment. It's nuts. And he's back at Crowley. This is a good play from us already. Oof! Berry, what a strike! Oh, what! Mansfield are the only other team who've won all their games. But well, I say all their games, they've won their opening two, we've won our opening two. Go on. Oh, we're certainly on course to win our opening three games. Go top of the league. It's a loose ball from Foley. Mega picks up. Except on the uh, interception opportunity, and McDermott is going to storm down this left wing. It's over. It's Christian, it's two. Let's fucking get in there. What a start of the episode at the moment. 2 0 up within the first 20 minutes. People came to in Dreamland. As far as starts go, they don't come much better than this, do they, really? I oh, remember back in our promotion season winning our first five games. I wonder if we can emulate that or at least top it. Dermot's done great. He still got it. Farrah, oh, you had to score, Farrah. I think we are very nearly 3 0 up away to the team that ran away. With the division we were playing in last season. Oh, they're going back. Oh, shit. The way we've been playing in this game, I can't see them, you know, scoring any more goals than what we do from this point. Over. And, oh, it's a penalty. 
Christian's going to take it. Stuck it away, lovely 3 1. Immediately, we restore our two goal lead. Christian scored two in this game. I did say, but he came up big for this one. He certainly has so far. But they got a corner. They got one back again. What a game for the neutral. Three two. I still think the momentum is going to be in our favour at the moment. I would like to go in half time with three two. There it is, half time. Three two up. So I'd be happy for the clock to just run down until full time, to be honest with you. That really would make me happy. Oh, they had an opportunity right from the kickoff. It's not a good sign. Okay, it's a, not doing that. Oh, was that, I think I might have been Christian and just hit the back of the shield. Had to come into his stride. Could have been looking at 4 2 on a hat trick. Well done, Mayla. What a brilliant header. Doing a mega berry. He's had a great game, I think. Ishmael! Oh! I think it was a good call playing him. Okay. Good time as anything to make a sub. Let's go Ishmael for. Grundy. I don't want to take anybody else off. We monitor Christian's fitness. And we'll maybe look at using Wild Taylor. Okay, yeah, I think we'll go Christian for Wild Taylor. And fair play, Barry's had a good game. But no, I'm not. I'll not take him off. I'll Bring on Sean Byrne for Farrah. Sean Byrne looks a bit pissed off, so we could do with some game time to cheer him up. Make things out well. Picks up the loose ball well as well. Christian doesn't play a great ball, but Leatherin swallows that one up. We distribute a good ball out. We've got Megat, Brandy, Berry, and Place it to Christian. Oh, I thought he was going to score. He cut inside well then. That was Megat. Farrah. Megat again. Dermot Farrah. Playing some good stuff here. Barry. It's over. Brandy does well. Oh, and it's gone in. No, it's disallowed. Well, I think it was a shot from Barry. McDermott got on the end of it. was it? Was in an offside position when he made the contact. Great ball from my Tanga, Lyle Taylor. Over McDermott, there it is, and that's got to be the win. It wasn't offside this time. Fair play, we picked up some great players we have. And a lot of our younger ones. From League, from League Two, have really stepped it up. But it may not be over yet. And he stuck it over. The firepower we got, and it's coming from everywhere though, you know, from the wings, from the centre of the field, it's different strikers. Connell does really well there. Foley over. Brandy. Brilliant pace. It's over. Taylor. Oh, what? 5-2. It's Lyle Taylor. And the top of the league. That 
has been brilliant defending again. Absolutely masterful defending. I know we conceded two, but these won their first two games and they're at home. You know, conceding two goals isn't shabby, especially when you scored five. Taylor on Foley. Do room for one more goal, maybe? No, that's it. 5 2. Absolutely fantastic result there. What a way to kick this episode off. As you can see, we definitely had the better of that game. Kind of hoping the next the next tie in the uh, League Cup was going to be here. I guess we just played it really, didn't we? So, not long ago. Christian Impressive. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead, stick around pause, and I'll see you at the next game, guys. Okay, now we are waiting at Northampton next. Team that won the playoffs in League Two. Let's go straight for it. Um, they haven't had a bad start to life in League One. He wants to keep pretty much the same team except Evans. Yeah, I'll go with that. Evans in with Berry, who had a good game in the last game. Um, swap waters for Centre Mid. That's going to be Farrah. He still had a good game in the last game. Brandy on the Brandy's on the bench, yes, Brandy Kevin. Hmm, that's more about having three strikers. I suppose he can play as winners and he'd be a striker if need be. Yeah, that looks alright to me. Defence looks good too. Leatherman's in goal, I take it. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. It's practically the same team I started in the last game. And done so well against Mansfield. Let's see what we can do now against Northampton. Ten minutes in, nothing's really happened. Taking the time again at this one, nothing's really. Maybe. Okay, here comes something. It's over. On the head of Christian, and it's 1 0. Yeah, he's definitely coming up big for us now, Christian. Certainly doing a job for us as a striker, and the 100% record is still on. Getting close again, yeah. It's unlucky there. Do it again. Then plucks it. But very encouraging start yet again. Oh, yes. Christian turning on the style. Happy freaking days. Absolutely awesome. Oh no, what's Naylor done? Gifted them away back into the game. Still 2 1 up. And has taken a really bad mistake from one of our more senior defenders. We even give them any hope, to be honest. Apparently, Jack Berry isn't having a great game because the guy's making a lot of mistakes, but he's playing a 6.6, which isn't a bad, which isn't really all that bad. So, we're 2 1 up half time. Let's see what we can do now in the second half. Oh, 
Oh yes. Three one. Zelly Ishmael. Exactly in the right position when the free kick was the, when the free kick was taken. Brain should have swallowed that up. But he did shitely. Great great defending from Megat. We hold on possession well, McDermott. In in towards Berry trying to retrieve it, but no. He catches the Guess a yellow card, but he caught the player. Fair play. It was a bit of a silly challenge, so rightfully gets himself a yellow card. But he's playing over the at Foley. Loses the ball. Right there, Sinclair. Good save from Leatherin. Absolutely quality. Coming up big again when we've needed him. McDermott as well in defence there. It's just the thing with these players that you know, they're going forward well, they're coming back well. Oh no, it's disallowed. Playing some magical football. Really encouraging stuff, guys, yeah. Oh, but Northampton have got a goal back. It's John Rakeledge. Okay. Jack Berry to come off. Or Farah. McDermott's not having his best game though, looks like, yeah. And we give Kerwin a chance at left wing to see what he can do there. Dave Kerwin, a new youngster. From Farnborough. Actually, Jack Berry's also from Farnborough. Two superstars in the making from Farnborough. Football manager, eh? Sam Foley's had a good one. Can I give Brandy a chance at front? Christian looking for another goal. Couldn't quite get it. Ishmael take another corner. To Kevin Farrer, right to Ishmael. And he's offside. That call a halt to that one. Looking at running the clock, eight. Kevin over. Brandy. Oh, it's a foul and it's a penalty. Didn't see where the foul happened, but no one's arguing with it. So it must have been Christian. Slotted away nicely. Hat trick for Christian. 4 2 to us in stoppage time, and that'll be another win. And another away win. I think that's. I'm not sure. I think we played three of our first games away. I think we have. Don't hold me to that. Double check that one, but I'm, I'm quite sure we've been away for three of the four opening games. 4 2, and this is a cracking start of the season. I'm not going to be expecting to keep it up, but the way that we're playing at the moment, you know, you wouldn't be an idiot for thinking that we could. As you can see, Capital One Cup's coming up, Sheffield Wednesday. So, guys, another great result, and I will see you in Sheffield. Okay, then, guys, and here we are, it's game day for the Sheffield Wednesday game. Let's just get rid of them. Go straight for the team selection. Okay, Christian Taylor, four years very far. Only thing I'm going to do is swap. Hold on now. I definitely think Dow Megat has got to play. I definitely think the Wind Knight Time has got to play. Definitely think they've got to play. That's fine as it is there. Then Callum Waters for Lee Evans. Fabian Brandy's going down the bench for Jeffers. I, it's just a big jump up for Jeffers, you know. Actually, not. Instead of Kerwin, I'm going to stick Jeffers, stick Jeffers back on the bench. Jeffers, Brandy, McDermott. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's cool. That's what we want. 
you should definitely write back. Yeah, my car's within a month too. I'm not going to change it, the mentality. I just think we're playing that well. You know, it's only a team, you know, a division, one division above us. So I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with control. Couple of their players are a bit tired. Well, we bang on about that physical advantage. I know I was ain't perfect, but a couple of days in the 80s. And I think you'll stand a chance in this game. I'm not going to expect to win it, but with the control, obviously, we're going to take the game to them. You know, we're going to give them a going, hopefully. We are in promotion form at the moment. I mean, major promotion form. One for four, we've won five games, five out of five so far. If you include the MK Dons and Cup tie. I'll make it yours, guys. Come on. Don't let them push you around. Gar's gonna have pop. Let them equal to it. Picked off nicely. I say it's half hour in, so. Half hour in, nil nil. They've only had a half chance. So, can't see any reason why we can't compete in this match. With the current tactics. There we go, corner. And they take the lead. Just it to be an ex Cardiff player as well. There's be no point changing it to the kind of attack now. Come mate, right, give these guys another chance. So there's no point changing it to the kind of attack because at the end of the day, no. We're the ones chasing the game. So if we try to kind of attack them now, it's not going to make much of a difference. I'm trying to struggle and not playing on. Chance to us, Taylor's moving forward with the ball, he could have put the ball over. Well, Christian was there, Farrah was brought down by McCabe and he could walk. Yes, he's off. Ryan McCabe is sent off. So I'm going to leave it on control. I'm not going to push my luck and go attacking. Farrah with a chance on a free kick. Oof! I took a deflection, but we've got a corner. Barry's going to stick it over. Double substitution at this point. Now, okay, I'm going to take off Farrah, Julie Evans, Miles Taylor, Sean Jeffers. Tang it as well there, Foley, Farrah, Berry, Taylor, into Christian, he's done well. Back to Farrah's Berry, it's Duffy, Ishmael, Taylor, yes, come on! The only thing is Lyle Taylor's coming off. Make the impact just before the subs. Maybe the subs might give us what we need to get the second goal. Okay, Leatherman sticks it over. Christian heads down. Jeffers. Evans. Christian. Foley. Yes, come on. 
Oh, wicked. Two little holes, right? Pretty much one white after the other. And we've turned this tie completely over. Obviously, the, the big thing was them going down to 10. I'm thinking mix up Sanford just picked up a knock. Yeah, it was taking off. I don't know what doing it. Before we made the mistake there. Oh, it's two two. Apparently with fewer with the assistant referee, he must have been offside. Did look a bit, mind you. Well, Tang has been given a yellow card. Descent, I'd imagine. Okay, I'm not going to change the front control. There's no point. It's how we played the game, we played the game well. Let them gather that nice and easy. So we like mega. Where's McDermott? Christian. Evans headed on. Jeffers. Ishmael. Oh my god. He just had to stick it to one side of the keeper and it was in. Three minutes of added time. So, oh, could be a chance here. Uh, Duffy. Evans. Eight to McDermott. Evans retrieves the ball. Barry. Ishmael. Jeffers, yes! 90th minute, what a time to score. Third round of the Capital One Cup, here we come. On, blow up, blow up, yes! Mag fucking magnificent. That's bang on, that is. That's really amazing, that is. 3 2 away to Sheffield Wednesday, and we, we had the possession. And the chances. I know they went down to 10 men, but there was only 1 0 at that point, and not a lot in it. Next game, MK Dons. So I'll see you for the MK Dons game then, guys. Okay, then guys, it's game day for our home game against MK Dons. Obviously, we not this team at the League Cup. We've just not knocked Sheffield Wednesday at the League Cup. We are obviously going to be on a high right now. Christian Jeffers Evans. Waters have got to get a chance at left back, I think. As much as Meg is playing well, we've got to get our young players some game time, I think. So let's just double check on the bench. Take Duffy off the bench for Jack Berry. That all looks rather sweet for me. Leatherings in gold. Yeah, let's go for it. Well, what a time for another perfect perfection episode. See three three wins in the last one. This could be four wins in this one. Seven perfect well, seven matches perfection through eight. We beat these rather convincingly in the League Cup. So we hold our nerve and repeat that feat in the league. They've had a bad start to their season. I think we're sort of sitting in 18th. We're top. So. Here we go. Montana's offside. That's now be it for the highlight reel there. Yep. So it's only twenty minutes in. Nothing's really happening yet.
Gabriel. The Evans just got himself injured. That's not a good sign. We're going to have Sean Boone. He's getting a lot of game time for us. His form, it is not so much his form, but his morale has gone from bismal to good. That's maybe because we gave him some game time. But here comes the first prop highlight reel. This is a chance to us. Ismail Jeffers. Oh, okay, you're taking the game to MK Don, so. It sounds it was all us. Jeffers. Dermot. Oh, he's at the post. Ismail does really well to get the ball there. Oh, but it's in vain because the ball doesn't reach any of our strikers. Good defending. But we're going to come away. Waters moving forward. Farah in to burn. Jeffers. Christian. Oh, the goalkeeper's nowhere and we're 1 0 up. I don't know what the hell the keeper was doing. He wasn't even in his goal. Christian had an empty net to pop it into. Looks like we're going to go in at half time. Mm -hmm. uh, so we usually have a real uh, to take us in the half. Oh no, Galloway's booked and he's walking already. His second yellow card. It's another sending off against us. We tend to draw the fouls quite well. And we're winning up and we're playing against 10 men. So the 100% record definitely looks like it's staying for now. Obviously, the only real negative about the game is losing Lee Evans to injury. Let's hope that's not going to be a lengthy one. But we have got strength and depth to cover injuries and things like that. Obviously, injuries were a problem last season, but we still went up quite convincingly. Jeffers does well. He should have run with our little bit further. The goalkeeper stood on his line. Jeffers could have taken a couple of extra touches. He definitely had the time and space for it. Oh, oh no, Samuel's in. Leatherman's here. See the corner, but he saves what looked like it was going to be a goal. A bit of pressing from MP Donald's, but see if we can move forward now. Christian Denton McDermott. They, they did well together and burn over to Ishmael and Jeffers is here if we make it 2 0. Excellent stuff again. Gonna give Christian a rest, gonna give Kaywin a run out. Christian Montano's got himself a yellow card, I think it might be moaning about something. Called as well, Farah, Montana, Waters, Dermot. Really impressed with Dermot, I am. Uh, Jeffers, Ishmael, and there's the third. Oh no, it's disallowed. He was offside, didn't look it to me. There's no, no back chat or arguing, so. Jeffers, Dermot, fair play, playing some good football again. And we fire it into Jeffers, and there it is, it's 3 0. Oh no, that's offside as well. You know. Just going to make that final serve. Going to swap Ishmael for Fabian Grandy. Two 0 could have been a lot more. I'm not going to moan. It's a clean sheet. It's another win. 
and that's going to be it now, surely. Well, they may have a chance. No, the referee calls it. It's 2 0. There we have it, guys. 100% record in all competitions is intact. We, as you can see, we battered them. Again, we're battering everyone so far. Coming up next is a cup tie, the Johnson's Bank Trophy with Exeter. That's another away one. But look at that. It is a good mental image. Five out of five in League One with Newport County. That's brilliant. I mean, fair play. I mean, we've got Carl, Carl, Corey, and Bradford. They're all sitting there. They've won four out of five. So it's not as if we're running away with it just yet. But five out of five, exactly what I said earlier. If we can equal or better our five out of five from our promotion season from the conference, I wonder if we're looking at a promotion season from League One and our first season there. That would be quite spectacular, really, wouldn't it? But I'm sure we'll see there's still a lot of good teams to play against if you think about it. But when I when I mentioned about um playing away, yeah, we did play three away games. Portsmouth, Portsmouth, Mansfield. Ooh, I must have got that wrong. It must have been, I think it was Bradford that went to it, so not Mansfield. But Portsmouth, Mansfield and Northampton all come all got promoted with us. So they're not major feats. We've beaten Crawley at home, we've beaten empty Dons at home, we've established League One teams. So really, we've had a great start, but we have still got the likes of Blackpool, Wolves, Preston, Doncaster, Leighton Orient, Coventry, Barnsley, well, Sheffield United, we've still got to play against teams like that, you know. So let's not get completely, you know, above ourselves at the moment. Let's just Go with the flow, enjoy it while we're winning, and um, let's hope that we can maintain at least a decent bit of form and at least be competitive in this division. There, we've more than had a great start. So, 37 minutes that, that'll be a perfect time to call it there, I think, guys. So, great start of the season. Thanks for watching again, as usual, and keeping in touch with the series. And until the next time, cheerio for now.